Today it's Mike at Flex and we're going to talk about Smart SDR for iOS. The ability to use your radio just about anywhere. So where do we find Smart SDR for iOS? Well, it is only available for an Apple iPad or iPhone uh, and you can find it in the App Store. If we just go search for Smart SDR, we type it in here, we'll see Smart SDR pop up and hit search. We'll see it there, and if you tap on it, we can see the details. So Smart SDR for iOS is developed in Germany by Marcus Rausch. And we install it like any other application. I've already installed it on this, so we're just going to open it. And when you first open Smart SDR for iOS, you're going to be presented with this blank screen. Now I really just want to focus on running this at home, but not remotely. And that is a non-smart link connection. And by tapping on here, it's going to go look for the radio on your network. I want to make it clear that SmartLink is something we only use when we're totally away from our house and off our property and off our network. You'll see your radio show up as the third line here. We have the 6600M, and we'll notice the IP address below it is what's called a local IP address. Generally, they begin with the numbers 192.168. And we're going to connect to that by just tapping on it. And again, this is a local connection. Now we have a number of choices here. Uh, we can do the uh, connect directly to it, uh, and we can use multiflex. I'm already connected to the radio using Smart SDR. Multiflex allows two people or two clients to have access to the same radio. And that's why we see this um, red line up here shows that Smart SDR is already connected. Again, this is local. But let's quickly look at the remote control. Remote control gives me the ability to uh, make some changes. I can enter the frequency modes. I can dial my VFO uh, type of thing. That's a VFO knob. So let's disconnect that. That's the remote control mode. And we're going to tap again. And it's going to search and find. And we're going to connect to my 60, uh, 6600M. And I'm going to connect. And this is going to be another client under Multiflex. I'm on my 20 meter antenna, which allows us to see signals flying by all over the band. And we can slide up and down, uh, much like you can. You can zoom in with your fingers. You can change frequency by tapping. And uh, we're, that's the basics of the screen control. Tapping on the top right, you'll see the menu choices like we see in Smart SDR. Um, we can pick up um, antennas. We can adjust for transmit, and we do want to make sure that if you're using the iPad to speak, that you've selected iPad as a mic input, very critical. And there's your mic gain, and we can close that, and there's our mic level here, uh, so that when we're chatting, we can slide uh, this bar back and forth. Um, you can set up a profile for your mic. Uh, and all the other controls that are quite familiar. They look almost exactly the same as Smart SDR. So let's close that. And let's go to the top left corner. These are a little bit different. Some of them are the same. Uh, audio. I have audio muted right now, but if I tap that, we're going to hear some audio. Just not to be confusing, we're going to turn that off. And there are some audio choices here, whether the iPad audio in a listen-only mode allows stereo. Uh, the next line down is uh, plus RX, allows us to add another slice. So if we tap that, we've got uh, two slices here. And um, so that we can be listening at two places at the same thing. Tracking notch filters. Um, they have to be turned on. Read these messages when they pop up. They're very informational. Uh, they're put there because uh, to keep you in tr out of trouble, so to speak. Uh, band, well that's pretty obvious. You can pick the band you want to be on, 160 meters, 80 meters, 20, we can go down to 40. Bandwidth has to do with the pan adapter, how wide or narrow it is. We can zoom in to 75, or we can, um, sorry, bandwidth, we can zoom out to a whole bunch. So we want a three, 300 kilohertz of the bandwidth display. This is really a critical one. Display controls how much bandwidth we're using. 
Now that's normally not our problem when you're local to your radio. When you are remote and you're using the smart link connection, which I'll talk about at the end of this, you may want to turn down these this rate and this frame per second. And that's how much this screen updates and that is a direct impact on how much data you're sending from your ham shack out the internet. So if you're getting choppy audio, uh, this is be the first thing I would look at would be to reduce both those numbers. One of them controls how fast this updates and how fast your waterfall flows by. Uh, there's memories, you can add a memory. Uh, what do we have for memories? We've got some memories, my 60 uh, meter channels. Uh, you can add a memory in the next one. The net uh, here, um, you can set your network speed, fast, medium, or slow. Again, if you're on smart link and your remote, I would select slow and then speed up as required. Uh, there are some cool um, utilities here that uh, are available for purchase. Um, you can have band plans, access to a DX cluster, some of these I've purchased, an onboard logbook, voice macros, you can use HomeKit devices, some Siri shortcuts, even FT8. Let's go into settings. And there's a lot of stuff to look at through here, but the most one of the more critical ones is SmartLink. Again, as I've said, SmartLink is used for when you're connecting remotely. And in this case, I've, I'm okay, I'm logged in. That's where you enter your smart link credentials. It'll be an email address and a username password. I'm gonna turn off show demo device. And some other choices down here, you can scroll up and down. And the Flex 6600 tab shows us a number of some information about the radio, um, just like going in an iPhone in general and looking at different things. Okay, let's go back to the radio. So how do we talk? Um, tapping on the 75 opens that same control panel that we saw earlier. And this gives us a knob here at the bottom that allows us to dial frequency, a little VFO knob. We can set our mode and our antennas, tap on the antenna. This gives me a choice of what my transmit antenna is and what my receiving antennas are. Uh, DAX on and off, XIT, RIT, uh, etc. You can lock your frequency, change your step rate, which is how fast you turn. And if you wanted to go to a specific frequency, uh, say you wanted to go to 7100, I would just go 7100 without the period and hit kilohertz, and it's going to go to 7.1 meg or 7100 kilohertz. Lastly, if, we're, uh, if we wanted to transmit, and because I'm in Canada, I can actually transmit here, but let me just reduce my RF power to zero. I'm going to hit push to talk, and there's an option to change this, whether you can push and hold, or tap on, tap off. And if you want to just tap on, tap off, go to settings, uh, you'll see all your settings. Push down here, push once only mode, turn that on. You can change your tuning wheels. If you don't like the way the knob turns left or right, right to left to move up or down frequency, you can change it here. And there's some other cool features. So there you go. That's a quick overview of Smart SDR for iOS, which works on the iPad, iPad Pro, or an iPhone.